remaking existing games is a great way to learn game dev. That's the reason why there is so many I have created Minecraft in X days. That's why I created my own copy of a game. Yeah boy. So basically when I was bored in school I would play with my friend this small game called Tank Trouble. And this is a great game, check it out. But I was frustrated at how long the bullets are bouncing around. And because of only this reason I decided to make my own version of this game in only one weekend. It took almost entire week. So I started by placing this square. Boo! It's a tank now. And I've added a little movement to this so it can now move around. Yay! And after doing this, I decided to move to the biggest point in this project, let's say. So map generation. I knew this would be not easy algorithm for me, but I tried and I failed. And after three hours, I deleted everything and decided to add other things. <laughs> nice. So to be precise, by other things I mean shooting, bullets from a tank, different bullet types, so power-ups, shield for example, and everything was rather easy to implement, except of this rocket bullet, he's crazy boy. So I couldn't run from the map generation forever, so I decided to finally add this, so I found this very nice tutorial to DFS algorithm and I decided to use this and modify it to my needs. It's a really good video, check it out. And in a summary this is how the algorithm works. Firstly the algorithm creates a two-dimensional array. Then it chooses random tiles and marks them as empty. Then I'm running the actual DFS algorithm to create the maze. Then I instantiate everything, so it's actually in the unity on the scene. And lastly, I'm deleting random walls inside the maze to make the map more playable. And with this done, I changed some little things, fixed bugs, created textures, added some post-processing, because why not? I don't know how to do this actually good, but I think it's it looks better than nothing and the game is ready. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is a great way to learn new things and that's especially true when you don't have any ideas for a new game or something like this and it is also important to pick up a game which has some interesting mechanics which you want to learn, otherwise it's just a waste of time, that's my opinion. So if you want to play this game, check out it on the itch.io. If you don't have a friend to play with, then you can check Amogus Tower Defense 2, also on itch.io. And also for the all Amogus fans, don't worry, I'm still working on the game. I just had a break because I was busy. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave like, subscribe and play my games. See ya.